have reservation tonight here on the first day of the Scarlet Lady at the Test Kitchen. <laughs> so at the entrance here, they give like some hibiscus uh, tea to clean the palate. <laughs> palate to drink. Cheers. Yes, cheers. Thank you. Let me explain to you guys uh, the test kitchen. They have a uh, ready to go menu. You don't have to choose. We have this menu tonight is mushroom, eggs, scallops, venison or beef, blue cheese, and chocolate. Uh, well, so it's six courses included. But the drinking package they have, uh, it's between $25 to $45 and uh, they have six different drinks that each drink comes with each course here and it's pretty cool. I would have rather sit on a booth but they were not available and I don't like these tables much because they're very narrow and the seats are so high but everything is fine. The restaurant looks amazing, I'd say. It's kind of retro and futuristic at the same time. Um, look at those chairs. It's just like um, those ice cream shops from the 50s. Um, and at the same time, it's very futuristic. So it's nice. Anyway, I just talked to the server here and um, even though the, they have a fixed uh, menu, the guest relations say, uh, the sailor service, right? That's how they call here. The sailor service, you can, if you like a lot a uh, restaurant, you can repeat it. Even though uh, you can only have one reservation, one restaurant per time, per cruise. But if you like so much that restaurant, you can request it to eat that again. Uh, but in this case, since they have this fixed menu, the menu won't change throughout the whole cruise. So if you come back here, you get the same menu, the same food experience, the same options. So. Um, you're not gonna get a different um, kind of food in the same restaurant. It's gonna be the same. It's a liquor from Italy. They top it up with a club soda. Bergamot. Bergamot. Bergamot liquor is our first cocktail. First cocktail here at the test kitchen. Ching ching. Ching ching. The first course. First course. What we call the mushroom. The mushroom. Okay. So basically, it's a mushroom pate. Oh, sorry. Which is uh, two kind of major mushrooms that they blend together, which is uh, Porto Bello and Porcini mushroom. Mm -hmm. We got the dark on the top, that's Porcini powder. Two small mushrooms on the side is a pickle mushroom called Simji mushroom, or similar to Sitake mushroom. <laughs> the small dot that's uh, made by mushroom gel, which is the bottom mushroom. And eatable leaf, eatable flour, served together with sourdough crostini. Sourdough crostini. Right. How you eat it? So this is not a big mushroom. It's like a mushroom pate yeah. in the shape of the mushroom. Exactly. <laughs> you just uh, take it and put it, uh, spread it on the bread. That's how to eat. <laughs> All right. Thank Please you. To enjoy Thank it. Yes. Thanks. And Italian herbal liquor contains twenty secret herbs. It's really secret fresh herbs. you can fly. Yeah. What's the name again? Uh, a pine sparkle. A pine yeah, sparkle. Pine sparkle. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, thank you. This is, this is our second cocktail that we're gonna have with eggs. <laughs> oh, thank you, Robert. Round two. <laughs> oh, I didn't drink. How can you cheat not drink? Do it again. Round two. Round two. <laughs> I'm not gonna add it. I'm just gonna keep it that way. <laughs> You it's actually like this one, right? Yeah, it's because it's sweet. It's beautiful. Yeah, he likes sweet things. That's pairing with the egg. Pairing with the eggs. <laughs> Ooh. Right. Second part has arrived. I got another bread for you, actually. Okay, I love bread, though. So, yes. <laughs> you guys ready? Ready? One, mm -hmm. two. Ooh. Yeah. So, what do we have here? The second course. Fire. <laughs> Fire. Not that smoke from Amsterdam. So. <laughs> right. Okay. So that's... we had a second course, what we call the egg and peas, which is a smoked egg yolk on kale puree. 
We got underneath this there is a kale puree uh -huh. and also crunchy English green peas. We got seafood gaka here, edible leaf, edible flower, served together with this bread, which is Guinness beer bread. Oh, nice. Break the yolk with the bread, taste it, see if you like it. Okay. If you guys think like it, and just mix all together, put on top of the bread. Okay. It's like cool. small canapes. Like. Okay. Please do Thank enjoy. You. It. Yeah. Thank you. I was impressed because there are peas in it and I was like Rob is gonna hate it because he doesn't like peas but he's gonna try it because this is the test kitchen what do you think very nice really okay I'm gonna try mine then mm -hmm. look, the, look the egg it's just the like the yolk of it the yolk <laughs> are you yolking the yolk are you yolking man? I'm yolking yes and the caviar yeah let's try in my case i have a problem with the egg because it's kind of basically raw egg <laughs> mm. why do you not like the raw egg look at that that's nasty ah. but i tried it because this is the best, best kitchen. kitchen and we like it so far it's good oh. no good. it's not i have an egg after taste that's not the egg <laughs> it is uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it ain't. I ate some of it, but not my favorite part of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's uh, made by the Plymouth Gin, sour, sour cocktail, and yuzu oranges. It is a very refreshing thing. Nice. My favorite. Ginger sour. This one looks good. Take three. <laughs> this is the ginger. What's the name? Vitus. Huh? Ginger Vitus. Rob! <laughs> ginger sour. Same thing. You, you're terrible. I like it. You like it? Mm hmm. The ginger sour cocktail comes with the scallops, but I order um, I forgot what I ordered. asparagus um, panna cotta. Right. Yeah, asparagus panna cotta because I don't eat scallops, but Rob is getting it anyway, so we have both to show here. We got amon serrano inside. We got two kind of seaweed as well, and the broth is contained pork and chicken. Okay. For you here, what we call the asparagus panna cotta. Panna cotta. It's asparagus mousse, basically, with the saving uh, asparagus on the top, the green and the white things, and the black thing on the, around, that's a Russian bread, Russian which bread. is edible. Okay. And there's uh, some nuts, mixed nut, and edible flour. Okay. Please enjoy it. Looks good, though. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Rob's option is the scallops. The asparagus panna cotta, I really liked it. It's warm and uh, it has some, I think it's not cashew, uh, almonds, almonds, I don't know, yeah. Really good. We call this hot cocktail is uh, cacao bulfadier, which is similar like uh, the bulfadier cocktail. Cacao. We got the uh, campari inside, two kind of vermouth, which is sweet and dry and top it off with a whiskey. Whiskey oh, Campari. Uh, I like Campari. Someone's going to have to help me back to my room. <laughs> so, uh, we do have a uh, Uber outside. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. <laughs> and this one will come of the beef. Right. right. Nice. <laughs> four for Number one. four, baby. We're Number four. I told him I'm going to need an Uber home, please. <laughs> oh, my oh God. this one is super strong. Wow. Wow. No, I can't. I can't even take another sip of that. It's got whiskey and something other. Campari. Stuff. Oh, it's very strong. The fourth one. Yeah, <laughs> oh no, Rob didn't like his fourth cocktail. Oh, too bad. You're such a lush. <laughs> See, he's a drunk. He already had his whole drink. Oh, <laughs> nice. yeah. so, you like the second one, right? Yeah. Yes. He's trying to get me drunk. 
He got Rob's oh, favorite drinks. Is that it? like this one? No, it's but I drink I anything. So. Kind of guy. No, it doesn't taste like whiskey. It tastes more I like Campari. Like, she'll drink anything. <laughs> Shut up. It tastes like Campari more, but it's really strong. What's That's Campari? why. It's a red drink, a red liquor. I think it's it's made of a of a root. I have no idea what it's made of, but I think I, I'm assuming is they have in Brazil too. Mm. Okay. Yeah. The what? Is that is very hot. Oh. Yeah, it's heavy. It's cooking in the plate as well. Oh, nice. <laughs> What's this? He's gonna explain. Can yeah, we? Just give me one second, please. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he just broke the horns of the reindeer. <laughs> I think he went to get more. I don't know what that is, but yeah, it was part of the course. So, um, I like mine well done, and they cut it like this. Yeah, and Rob is like a taller piece because he likes more medium. So, there you go. I don't know what that is. What is it? It's. Uh... Spider webs. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. I'll well, tell you now. I don't know, sir. We found these on the floor in the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's the test kitchen, so we just bought it, brought yeah, it in. I don't know what it is, so we threw it in there. <laughs> exactly. All right. So what do we got here? Filet yeah, of beef. Yes. We have a filet of beef, which is a filet mignon. That's mm -hmm. a good one. On bed, a beetroot puree. The right things like the kind of there. We got pickled blueberries, dark chocolate kiwi on the top. Blueberries. And oh, so it's chocolate. chocolate. Uh, that's and what the chocolate is. Yeah. And the Jew is a venison Jew. I, I knew it. I could smell it. Yeah. <laughs> and outside here we got this potato, what we call potato puffy, which is layered of potato with garlic and butter inside already. Ooh. And the white thing on the top is a bacon. Nice. Sure. Oh yes. <laughs> Why is white? Because they put in some. Uh, uh, tapioca on okay. I like it. Hi, right, Jens. All right, thank you. One of it here. I never had steak with chocolate. But it's the test kitchen, so why not? This steak is delicious. I already tried it. Fantastic. As well, the same as the potatoes. Mm. Bring the... Which number are we? <laughs> Five. <laughs> Bring the number five. <laughs> Just trying to finish both of the drinks here. Probably gonna be drunk after this one. But like, the next one is the blue cheese. And let's see, what's the cocktail with it? You have a blue cheese semifreda with pickled Asian beer, honey roasted pecans, and citrus olive oil. And also one mandarin sorbet in case if you maybe don't like blue cheese. Enjoy, <laughs> guys. Yeah. What's yeah. the name of the drink again? So this is uh, apple. Yeah, um, blossom. Yeah, apple blossom. Apple Made blossom. Made from apple uh, brandy, pinot mm. sherry, and topped with biscuits. Okay, thank you. Enjoy. So basically, this is my plan B. <laughs> plan A. This is plan B. Yeah. No. I know. I get that. All right. The blue cheese. I have to yeah, remove that aftertaste. But anyway, let's try it. Drink number five. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Wow, wow. <laughs> this is the apple blossom. Oh. It's good for me. <laughs> he didn't like it. Let's try the blue cheese. Nice Rob said it's cold, it's good. It tastes like blue cheese ice cream. Blue cheese ice cream. <laughs> Must be delicious. <laughs> uh, Doesn't it taste good? It actually tastes good. Yeah. And it's like blue cheese ice cream. But it's, I wonder where you heard that from. But it's not a. It's not as like salty and strong as the blue cheese. It's kind of sweet as well. I have to say that this is surprisingly delicious. It, this is blue cheese. I was like expecting like a cutting board coming with like some cubics of cheese on it, of blue cheese. 
but this is like far from blue cheese, it's and delicious. This orange, what is that? It's, it's orange. This is like a orange gelato. Yeah, that's really good. Really he said, good. he said it was like the plan B in yeah. case. A and B is working. Yes, A and B is working. <laughs> course we're serving our cocktail called banana so instead we have bayon and biscuit uh, cream de banana and dash beetles hello <laughs> So this is bananas. Yeah, it's basically like <laughs> banana old fashioned, you know. So it's biscuit, bitters, and banana. <laughs> okay, this is our last drink. And we come along with the chocolate. On the pairing, that's the last thing on the pairing. <laughs> so inside you have layers of chocolate and vanilla, coconut cookie on the bottom. On the side you can see it's strawberry caviar and strawberry compote. And it's garnished on top with dark chocolate and microwave sponge. Wow. The microwave sponge is made of almond flour. Almond flour, this sponge on the top. Thank nice, you. thank you. So, <laughs> drink number, where will I last come? Seven. Six, uh, it's six things there. Six. Six, uh, yeah, the first six items. So, uh, drink. Uh, <laughs> Drink number six. six. <laughs> oh, oh. Jesus it's strong as well. <laughs> it's to oh. finish the meal drunk. That shit <laughs> Literally. Is bananas. Oh, and it's called bananas, so oh. yeah, it is bananas. So we all Sorry, I was having a moment here. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Oh my God, this is like chocolate heaven. It's like dark chocolate taste. Mm. Perfect way to finish the meal. Oh. <laughs> I look my mouth. <laughs> How can you miss that? <laughs> I'm off black of chocolate. Perfect way to finish the meal. Wow. So rich, I couldn't. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. Other than drunk. <laughs> Other than drunk. Start your start your um, cruise off in test kitchen. Yes. As you can. Scarlet lady, start test kitchen. So you can what? So you can drink and feel good. They serve you six different drinks to pair with your meal. It was $35 a piece between the two of us for Because the cocktails that we chose, yes. Yeah. Six cocktails. So definitely recommend it. Yes, absolutely fantastic. The experience here on the first night of dinner on this Scarlet Lady. And it was amazing. And look at this place. Beautiful restaurant. Tables. And that was it. Our experience here at the Desk Kitchen. Make sure you hit the like, you share, leave a comment, and thanks for watching.